Question 1. When you use Migration Wizard PMT for WebSphere Application Server 8, do you expect to have all profile services up and running again? Answer. No. Migration Wizard only provides minimal function and it does not enable any services by default. Question 2. In a scenario where an administrator needs to migrate the entire application server profiles from v6.1 to v8 using Profile Management Tool PMT, and he wants to keep all Windows services created for these profiles, how to make sure that these Windows services are kept after migration process? Answer. Administrator must create the new profile with the services enabled before starting the wizard, and then point to the profile during the migration wizard. Question 3. Assume that you installed was 6 after was 8 on your server, is it then possible to migrate was 6 nodes to was 8? Answer. No, it will not work as was 8 should be installed after those earlier versions. Question 4. What are the new capabilities in IBM Installation Manager V8? Answer. Here is a list of new capabilities. A single installation technology for installing and uninstalling product updating and rolling back fix packs and affixes installing and uninstalling feature packs GU interface to perform individual operations. Response files can be recorded either from the GUI or created by specifying the appropriate XML file for silent installation purposes silent mode support for invoking multiple operations question 5 can you check on installed servers in dot nif registry file after installing was 8 answer nor was 8 is no longer using this registry file Question 6. Is it possible to install WebSphere application server v5 over system i remotely? Answer. No, you can't as there is no GUI interface for version 5. Question 7. What may cause installation of WebSphere application server over system i to be stopped suddenly with no log file creation? Answer. Undefined host name for your system i box. Question 8. What may cause problem in profile creation? Answer. Including special characters in your local host name may cause problem in profile creation. Question 9. How can you administer your application server? Answer. Application server can be administered using admin console and WS admin. Question 10. Can you federate a profile using manage profiles command facility? Answer. No, you can't but you can delete a profile by manage profiles command facility. Question 11. Will there be any problem in installing the application server on a target platform where it has been done before? Answer. Yes, it will cause an unattended installation of the application server. Question 12. Can you enable SSO for application server over system I? Answer. Yes, you can, during profile creation wizard. Question 13. Can you federate a node on system I box into DMGR over Windows, Linux platform? Answer. Yes, you can, as long as system I box can be accessed through network. Question 14. Can you use IIM for installing application server 8 over system I? Answer. No, you can't. You have to install it using QShell command line. Question 15. Can you take a copy of system or dot log files over system I while it is running? Answer. No, you can't as this file is locked by application server process.